Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to a special extended edition of In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today, I'm going to show you, in around 5 minutes or so, the new Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager, available in Big IP version 11.3. Big IP AFM is a stateful, full proxy firewall and brings to the forefront many of the security features already inherent in Big IP, allowing administrators to easily protect their infrastructure and understand exactly the type of attacks that are occurring. So let's start the clock. And so I've logged on to a Big IP local traffic manager with the Big IP AFM loaded on it. And you'll notice it right away over here by this security tab. And so we brought many of the security features to the forefront and created this administrative tab so administrators can easily configure security on their Big IP devices. And so right here in the overview section, it gives you and lists things like the top drops and the top rule matches and the top ACLs that were hit, uh, the top actions that were taken when say DNS attacks occur. And this is pretty cool because you can you know maneuver them around and change their order as you see fit. You can add widgets over here. You can view by you know various ACLs that may be in place, VLAN, source IP addresses, rule contexts, those sorts of things, and also the type of, whether it network, DNS, DNS DOS, or protocol security. Oh, 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 doy, cancel. And so also we have uh, under the overview the protocol security. And by the way, you can see here there are no records to display because I don't really have uh, any malicious traffic going through this big IP device. But here, you know, in the summary is all of these conglomerated on that single screen. And then under each of these protocol, network, and denial of service, you can get your unique uh, views as to what's going on. So under protocol security, it's things like FTP, HTTP, SMTP, you know, under network and the overview, the rules by ACLs, layer three to four types of attacks, top rules by day, top source IP addresses. These two, yeah, these are maneuverable. You can also export them out. Time range by widget or any other criteria that you'd like to see over here, any of the virtual servers that you have in place if you want to check those specifically. So that's the overview. It gives administrators a great view as to what type of attacks or what may be occurring within their infrastructure from a security point of view. Now if we go to protocol security, and so this is specific to HTTP, FTP, SMTP, and DNS. So right there, um, those types of security protocol those types of protocols being secured and so here the profile name is HTTP security let's create one real quick so you can see HTTP oh, you can see I was practicing HTTP 2 security and here are some of the pieces the 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 sets that are in place already for preventing from some non RFC compliant requests and so it's really checking to make sure that these protocols are abiding by their standards a number of checks you can you know select or deselect depending upon your environment if you want to block or alarm them you can get into request checks the length checks the types of methods that are allowed within http the file types any mandatory headers that should be there and then the blocking page say a violation occurred a block occurred you can then send and show the user the uh, unique blocking page whether it's uh, you know they did something wrong or here is your support ID to check what occurred oh and you know what I actually forgot to click create and then let me just do that real quick again doink doink and create and there's the second one set up. So if we go to FTP under security profiles for FTP security, you can see here are various settings that you can you can uh, enable or disable. Anonymous FTP, any, F, any FTP commands that are disallowed, 
uh, maximum lo maximum log on retries, whether you're going to allow you know passive mode or not within FTP. And then here is SMTP. Let's click on that one. And this is for you know your virtual servers, things like uh, directory harvesting attacks. And it's kind of cool if you just hover over the name itself, it'll give you a little idea as to exactly what's what that means. So you may not be you know all up on all of your security terms, you know even specific to SMTP, but you want to create a solid policy. And so just hovering over it gives you a good idea, uh, an exact idea as to what exactly this particular thing means and so oh we're running out of time again but I already warned you so that's okay uh, things like DNS validation any SMTP commands that are disallowed any virus detection that you'd like to take advantage of so sending it sending any traffic through an ICAP server first before it makes its way to the official mail server for protection and you can see over here cancel update or restore defaults. Let's go back, protocol security, boom, and then DNS security. Up, oh, no records to display. Let's maybe create one here. You can see query types, name, uh, DNS, secure, description, protection. You know, type of query types inclusion or exclusion what's available is to maybe do a, a record and query and finished that's how easy it is and there you have it and so then under uh, uh, profiles assignment there's nothing assigned right now but this is where you would actually assign you know a profile to a virtual server now if we go under network firewall and this is the traditional uh, network firewall policies or aspects that you're probably familiar with and so here we're in the active rules page and you can see here that each of the virtual servers are listed and each virtual server now by the way a virtual server or a VIP a virtual IP is the application itself is the ultimate resource in your data center that someone may be requesting and so each of these, as you can see, can, has their own list of rules. Bef you know, before it makes its way to the resource, it must go through these checks to make sure that nothing bad is occurring. And say if we click on, oh, I don't know, let's see, let's, let's look at, I don't know, OWA Secure Access. It's as good as anyone. And so here's the description. You can see that the state, any schedules... Uh, the protocol involved and so you know for instance things like DNS um, you would obviously just check you know for UDP not TCP you know any of the sources the destinations the ports the protocols all those pieces that you're already familiar with when it comes to protecting the network the other thing that's kind of cool is if you're wondering what virtual server this is maybe the name doesn't you know you're not sure of the name or what have you if you click on the virtual server itself you then go to right under here local traffic virtual server so where you would normally create your virtual server for your back-end applications and standards you know this sort of stuff any of the basic or advanced configuration you know all the stuff you're probably used to when it comes to deploying a big IP any SSL profiles the SMTP profiles and being able to you know update delete adjust as necessary so we go back to security network firewall and then of, of course along the top here you get your rule lists your address lists your port lists any scheduling that is involved and even IP intelligence if you're not sure about IP intelligence check out in five minutes or less F5 IP intelligence service. It's pretty cool. Any of the context, you know, route domains, virtual servers, self IPs, management ports. So you can really get a good insight as to all the particular connections all the way down to your resource as to what's going on. And then we go to denial of service protection. And so in here, you know, denial of service is obviously a huge concern within uh, the tech, you know, within all industries today and right here it's not 
uh, enabled. So if I just click enabled, now you get that protocol security for DNS. And we can, you know, protocol errors attack detection enabled. And then underneath that, you can see the DNS query attack detection. You know, A records, NS records, C name. And then if you, you know, click enable, you're then able to adjust whether it be the threshold of packets per second or the percentage rate increase that occurs. You know, your thresholds might be different. So you can really tweak it to be unique to your exact environment and then to you know to determine uh, what you want to do with that packet because a lot of this stuff you know because it's already inherent in big IP might just be dropped right from the onset you know it doesn't even need to go through a particular rule and so all the different types of um, you know attacks and then you know what we've also done is greatly enhanced the um, reporting and logging of the um, big IP AFM. So, you know, it's great, you know, to, to block all this stuff and make it easy to protect against these uh, types of attacks. But unless you really understand what's going on, you really can't build an effective policy. And so here, you know, within the statistics, you can select all violations. And of course, you know, as I mentioned earlier, there's um, not much going through this box. And you can see the various occurrences that happen of all of these, you know, particular violations, or you just select the specific violations that uh, you might be interested in. Uh, here are all your logging profiles that are set up. And then various types of reporting, as we mentioned earlier. There's no um, reports here, but I can show you these is what the application-orientated policies and reports will look like once you start, you know, your big IP and having the AFM module installed. Uh, you start blocking these types of malicious attacks. There, may, there are certainly occurrences where customers, you know, start seeing all of these colored graphs and go, "Oh my God, I didn't even realize." I was getting hit with those sorts of things. Actually, if you want to take a, take a quick look at options, this is the antivirus protection, sending the traffic through an ICAP server before um, it hits the resources themselves. Uh, any advanced configuration with, with uh, system variables, being able to synchronize this uh, protocol security, synchronize the policies with other big IPs. So all of the big IPs within your infrastructure uh, have the same policies on them. So there you have it. The Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager part of the Big IP version 11.3 release available now. Hey, so thanks for watching and staying a little longer than five minutes for the Big IP Advanced Firewall Manager in five minutes or less or so or around. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com or follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.